Today, I'll be giving you some tips and tricks that you can use at your next comic book convention. Stick around. DJ Links is in the building. Before we continue on, make sure you head on over to thecomicshell.com and pick up your comic shell. It is the ultimate carrying case for your raw and slab comics. It fits about 20 raw books or two slabs comfortably. This is the only carrying case that you'll catch me at a con with. Head on over to thecomicshell.com and use code LINKSQUAD for 10% off your order. What's going on everybody? It's your boy DJ Links back in the building, back DJ in effect, Link. and back with another video. And today I'll be giving you some tips and tricks that you can use at your next comic book convention. I thought of this idea because I am super excited for Heroes Con. Heroes Con is happening the weekend of Father's Day in June, June 14th through the 16th, and we are going. I'll be there representing Comics Curing Cancer. We have a booth, booth 1769, and it is going to be an amazing time. And usually when con season rolls around or I'm prepping for a con, a lot of thinking and decision making goes into how I'm going to approach and attack the con and I figured that I share some of my tactics with you. So here are some tips and tricks that you could use at your next con, yo. Number one, and this goes without saying, bring cash. Cash is king. Cash without a shadow of a doubt will always get you the best deals on books that you want and it'll save you on tax. I'm just joking, government. The last thing that a dealer wants is to make a deal with you and then you pull out your card or you say, hey, let me pay you via PayPal. They are gonna give you the side eye of death. Number two, and this isn't in order of importance, is just how I have it written down on the list in front of me here. But number two is bring your ID. Now, this is kind of new and that should go without saying, right? That you have to bring your ID wherever you go, but you'd be surprised how many people walk around without an ID. The reason why I say bring your ID, this is stemming out of an incident that happened at C2E2 a couple of months ago. What happened was a person went to a comic book dealer, purchased a book for like $1,400, I think the transaction was, paid with his card, and then he split and the next day contacted his credit credit card company saying he didn't know anything about the charges that they were fraudulent charges. So now at cons, dealers are hip to that. So they're more than likely going to ask you to see your ID, especially if the transaction is over a few hundred bucks. Number three, bring some snacks with you, man. Bring like a, a, a tumbler, a Spidey's tumbler full of water and bring some granola bars or whatever thing you like to snack on because the lines at the con, they could be OD long and you don't want to waste like a half an hour waiting for some cold chicken nuggets or some chicken tenders or something like that. Definitely have some snacks on you plus the price of some of these like con food things are actually really really expensive a portable charger is a must especially if you're taking pictures or taking footage on your phone if you're gonna be recording footage if you're a content creator like myself make sure all your batteries and everything are charged a few days before you hit the con make sure you pack everything up the night before so that everything is in order what I do I usually write a list down of things that I need to take spare batteries a battery battery for the monitor, batteries for the microphones or whatever the case is. Make sure everything is charged up and you have everything that you need to pull off your amazing YouTube content. I would also suggest wearing some comfortable shoes. If you're a fashionista like myself, sometimes you forgo that. One year, I think it was when uh, 2021, I had the bright idea to wear Timberlands to New York Comic Con on the first day and that was a giant mistake. I had blisters like crazy on my, my poor old tootsies. Yeah, so wear some comfy shoes. Obviously, if you're there picking up books, you want to have those books protected. I highly recommend bringing either a store folio or a comic shell with you. Keep those books protected at all times. Another valuable tip is learn the lay of the land before you get to the con. If you're a variant hunter, shout out to all the variant hunters, shout out to all the retailers that put out variants. If you're a variant hunter, make sure you know the lay of the land so that you can attack that booth first. For New York Comic Con, for example, the Comic Mint always has has the biggest line bar none when it comes to the variants. So usually when I'm there, if I'm not working the con, I head straight to the Comic Mint booth so I could just get my variants there and then I head on over to other booths. And when I say get the lay of the land, usually the bigger cons, they have an app that you could download and then they'll give you an exhibitor list and then the floor layout. Plan your attack that way, like boom, I'm gonna hit the Comic Mint. Then after the Comic Mint, I'm gonna hit Big Time Collectibles. Then I'm gonna circle back and hit up No Moss Comics. That's the way that I do it and that's the way I suggest you do it too. You definitely wanna know know 
what variants you're picking up, my suggestion will be do your due diligence and during the week of Comic-Con, go to your favorite retailers like on their Instagram and they'll have posts of all the variants that they're dropping. If it's a con that has variants, they'll have variants of what they're dropping and make sure you're gonna be like, all right, boom, I'm gonna get that, 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 that. Usually they put out their menu, like a letter menu. So you know, if you write it down on a piece of paper, once you get to the counter, you're already saying, hey, I want A, B, F, like that. That's the way the comic man does it. And I know that's the way Nomas Comics does it as well. Now for all my autograph seekers, for all my people that love going to Artist Alley and getting autographs from the artist, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Keep it short and simple. I understand you wanna tell the artist how much their work meant to you and you know, it changed your life. But for every 30 minutes that you spend talking to the artist, that artist is losing money. He's just too nice to tell you to hit the bricks. Be considerate of their time. They are there to make money. They're not there to hear your life story, man. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. Speaking of considerate, and that's the number one thing, be considerate, be kind, be patient with your fellow con goers. It is going to be sometimes really intense, especially at these bigger cons that are super, super packed, like New York Comic Con or San Diego Comic Con. The aisles, you're going down the aisles like that, trying to, you know, get to the bathroom in the club, walking through the dance floor. You're going to get bumped. Somebody's going to step on your shoe. You just have to take it on the chin and keep moving. Don't take anything personal. Somebody in a big ass Transformers cosplay is going to like smack you in the face with his like shoulder cannon and you just have to take it on the chin. Nobody's there to do anything malicious. Everybody's there to have a good time, but things do happen. Now, speaking of cosplay, some of you cosplayers, stop taking up the aisles, man, and just know that your costume, some of that shit is just like too damn big and you just take up too much space. Be consider it as well. That's the most important thing. Just be considerate, patient, and kind to each other. And last but certainly not least, if you're going to drive to one of these cons, make sure you park close by. It pays to pay the extra amount of money if there's a parking lot right across the street, especially if you have a ton of stuff. You don't want to have to walk like six blocks with a bunch of things. That happened to me one year and I was dying. So I tend to tell people park as close as you can especially if you're planning on picking up tons of stuff like I normally do. So those are my tips and tricks for going to a con. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you put some of them into practice. Let me know what you think about them down in the comments. If I'm wildin', let me know, yo bro, you wildin'. But yeah, these are the tips and tricks that I use to plan out my con stuff. I'm super excited for Heroes Con, man. Again, happening the weekend of Father's Day in June in North Carolina. I will be there along with Rob Fat Stacks of Comics and Mark from Legion of Comics at the Comics Curing Cancer booth, which is booth 1769. We have a lot of great things planned. We still haven't shared them yet. They've been, you know, trickling out here and there, but we haven't said anything proper, but we will soon. I can't wait for everyone to see what we have in store for Comics Curing Cancer and Heroes Con. And that's gonna do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. As always, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, share this video, tell your friends about me, consider joining the Link Squad, and as always, most importantly, spread love, because it's the Brooklyn way. Peace.